Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best tablets for xCloud gaming on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best tablets for xCloud gaming. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mention in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Are you in search of a tablet that can provide you with a lag-free experience of xCloud gaming? Then you are looking at the perfect video that will guide you to choose between some of the best tablets for xCloud gaming. I am a gamer myself and I would be able to help you in every way regarding this topic. So sit back and relax to watching this video. According to my experience, I have seen many people buy a tablet just to play games on it. This might primarily be due to the reason to forget about the real world by just sitting and relaxing on the couch and playing some games after having a stressful and tiring day. Although surfing the web, watching movies, and making video calls will always be in demand, it may not be the primary function. Thus, an Xbox would be the device most people would choose if they only wanted to play games. But the downside is that Xbox only provides you with the joy of gaming and doesn't give you a whole lot of options like browning the web. Number 5. Apple MXD2LL slash a tablet for xCloud gaming. Mac OS has a lot of shortcomings but iOS is still a pretty good platform for mobile gaming. Apple enthusiasts should get the iPad Pro for the best gaming experience. Although I'm not an Apple fan, I was impressed by this tablet's sleek liquid retina XDR display along with promotion variable refresh rate technology, P3 wide color, and true tone available in 12.9 inch or 11 inch sizes. The viewing experience on this is just amazing, not gonna lie. I was open to choosing from a variety of native iOS games and Apple Arcade games. A number of cloud gaming services are also supported by iPad Pro such as Stadia, Amazon Luna, GeForce Now, and xCloud. Also, I would like to mention that the iPad Pro's M1 processor provides exceptional emulation. AAA games like NBA 2K21 run seamlessly on the iPad Pro. Emulation-wise if you ask me, the iPad Pro can handle PSP titles without a hitch and can run GameCube games at 4K resolutions or Wii games at 1440p. There is Wi-Fi 6, optional 5G, and Thunderbolt on the connectivity side, which is great. Through Thunderbolt 3, you can easily connect a TV to the iPad Pro. Overall my final conclusion is that, despite it being a wonderful piece of kit, I would suggest you consider the vanilla iPad or iPad mini if you want to save a little cash. But if you want to experience iOS gaming the most effectively, you should get the iPad Pro. Pros. Trackpad support. Gorgeous display. Faster chipset. Better cameras. LiDAR scanner. Cons. Costly. Number 4. Amazon Fire HD 10 Tablet for xCloud Gaming. I guarantee you that you will certainly enjoy your gaming experience on this tablet thanks to its 1080p HD display. A game cannot be enjoyed if the graphics cannot show through the display but in this case, you don't have to worry about that. I own the previous Gen Fire Tablet too, but when this one came I was excited to try it and I got it so in that case even if you already own a Fire Tablet, you can feel free to upgrade. Playing games will be more enjoyable with less lag. Speaking with experience and usage of both the versions of the tablets I can say for sure that the Kindle Fire tablet is now 30% faster than previous versions of Amazon's Fire and Kindle tablets. This tablet's purpose is to serve as an entertainment and gaming system as it lets you watch your favorite movies, TV shows, and play games without any lag or falling graphics. I also attached a case to it that enabled me to attach a stand to it while I was playing a game or watching a movie. This made my experience more comfortable. I also noticed that the tablet has a battery life of up to 12 hours while watching something on it or when playing a game. If the tablet is fully charged before you start playing your favorite game, 
You will never have to worry about sabotaging your combo by plugging in a charger. Pros. Affordable. Sharp display. Good performance. Dual Wi-Fi. Cons. No Google Play Store. Low resolution camera. Number 3. Samsung P610 Zaxer Tablet for xCloud Gaming. This is the most ideal version of the Samsung S6 tablet for you to consider if you are looking for something a little lighter to carry around with you. Despite its unique design, this tablet offers a few different features as it comes with a stylus pen to prevent the screen from getting full of fingerprints as quickly as possible. I have used this tablet daily and in my everyday usage, it has given me a battery life of 13 hours which is quite exceptional. This is very useful in cases when you play games with all graphics set high and can play for hours without getting disturbed. I was provided with a storage capacity of 64GB on this tablet. It was possible for me to play almost any game streaming service had to offer without having to worry about lag or graphic issues. In light of this fact, you may encounter a problem or two when playing online games. Because this tablet does have some issues with Wi-Fi strength, your home's Wi-Fi has to be powerful enough to catch up with your digital gaming world. Overall I feel, it's not a great tablet but it is a good tablet indeed for Xbox Cloud Gaming due to its connectivity issues. You can surely go with this one if you are looking for a light tablet with powerful specs. Pros. Robust design. Plentiful UI design. S Pen included. Cons. Issue with pen. Little sluggish. Number 2. Microsoft SMV00001 Tablet for xCloud Gaming. Anybody who can afford this tablet should consider buying it and for those who are serious players but who do not wish to spend a lot of money on gaming systems, Microsoft Surface Book is a suitable option. This tablet also has a keyboard that can be attached to it to turn it into a laptop which I really appreciated because it doesn't make you feel that you are missing out on a laptop. The fact that this device is made by Microsoft also ensures that you will be able to play games from the xCloud service with little to no difficulty. The tablet is available in two sizes. It's totally up to you on which size you should go for, but if you prefer the larger screen, you can choose the 15-inch screen. Although there should be no difference in resolution between the two in terms of internal specs and performance. The purpose of having two sizes is that you can choose which device you want to use and in my opinion to play games on a bigger surface, you should get the 15-inch tablet rather than the 13-inch. I think this tablet only has one problem, it is very expensive. Compared to the other products that I have listed, this product is a lot more expensive. While you are paying for a tablet that you can play games on and browse the web on, its price is significantly higher than most tablets you have seen before. Pros. Premium alloy construction. Elegant convertible design. Well implemented kickstand. Cons. 16 GB RAM maximum. Number 1. Samsung T720N's Kluxer Tablet for xCloud Gaming. As you may know, Apple's iPad still dominates the tablet market in terms of mindshare but the Xbox Cloud Gaming is now available on Android as well. Hence, the Galaxy Tab S5e is the best overall tablet option if speed, price, and features are important to you. This tablet is priced at around $400 as it is more affordable than Samsung's flagship model. Despite being a budget model, it's far from affordable, and the Android tablet landscape is not as hot as it potentially could be, with few choices for mid-range tastes. If I compare it with the more powerful S6, it compromises on battery life but retains a stunning 10.5-inch AMOLED display and powerful speakers, so it is ideal for gaming. The device weighs just over a pound and is compatible with a wide range of accessories including kickstands, bed mounts, and much more, making it ideal for xCloud and game streaming. It also comes pre-installed with Samsung's brand of Android, which is highly configurable with Microsoft services. 
When the gaming session is over, you can also attach a keyboard and use dex mode to get some work done. In my opinion, this tablet is well worth your consideration if you prefer Android over iOS.